Logan from Lickwog Falls. So I've decided to hike the Bartram Trail. I'm gonna section hike it so I can't do it all in one piece. But it comes really close to the Foothills Trail. But and the two are connected by the Chatuga River Trail. So that is what I'm currently following. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far it is. It's around four miles to the Bartram Trail and I think the Chatuga River Trail and Bartram Trail overlap each other. So that's what I'm gonna do. So a little bit about the Bartram Trail. It's approximately 125 miles long. It is in Western North Carolina and a little bit of Georgia. So I'll be in Georgia today. Um, it is known as like the number one most solitary long trail, like in the US or something. Um, how people know, I don't know if it's solitary or like least known about, I don't know. But I've also seen a joke that it, uh, it's essentially the AT before the AT was the AT, or at least before the AT got famous. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, it does connect, so between the Foothills Trail to, to the Chattooga River Trail to the Bartram Trail, it goes all the way up to the Appalachian Trail slash Mount to Sea Trail. So if I can finish the Bartram Trail, I will have a continuous footpath from uh, the South Carolina coast from the Palmetto Trail all the way up to Maine. So I'm excited to start sectioning this trail on my day off. I've made it to the official southern terminus of the Bartram Trail. Yay! Bridge, uh, it ends a little short. <laughs> nice short day today. Well, you know, 20 miles, 20 miles total. Only five miles actually accomplished of the Bartram Trail. It's five miles out, five miles out, back, approximately. Um, there are two parking lots very close to each other. So the other one is actually on the Georgia side of Russell Bridge. It's pretty small. There's you know, maybe a, a few spots and it's directly off the highway. So driving down the highway, you can see the other cars. Whereas the South Carolina side, it's a little more hidden. Like you don't see it until you get right here and it's a lot bigger. This will probably make a really short video. So uh, I'll just continue next time. So I feel like I've been driving for forever just to get to the next trailhead on the Bartram Trail, the like something for Earl's Ford Road. And so I finally got here, parked here, and I think I parked on the wrong side of the river. Like, I, I, I found the parking. For Earl's Ford Road, I'm like, and like, and looking at my maps, it shows that the road goes through up up to the Bartram Trail, but it doesn't actually go through. It's a trail. It is blocked up with posts, and there's a river in the way. So I'm I'm tired of driving. I'm just gonna go and try and see what the river's like. Can I cross it? Is there a bridge? Probably not, but let's go see. So there was a trail at least going through the river to the other side. And so I took my shoes off and you're supposed to leave them on, but it's the beginning of the hike. I don't like wet shoes at the very beginning of the hike. And the pebbles and stuff were smooth enough, so like I, I'll be fine. But, oh, one, the water was cold. The two just kept getting deeper and deeper. Like I got to, I got up to like waist deep, or almost waist deep, and I, it like it still was continuing to drop. I was not even at the deepest part yet. I probably went down at least a couple more feet. So 
so maybe it would only have been like chest deep, but I was starting to shiver. My feet were locking up from cold. The current was kind of strong. So I just didn't feel comfortable crossing it. Um, my stuff isn't in waterproof bags and stuff, so it's just like, mm, I'm just gonna turn around, walk back to my car, and I'll drive to the next trailhead. Okay, now I'm actually starting for the day. It's like 1.30. It's taken so long to drive to both trailheads since the first one was the wrong trailhead. But I'm just parked at War Woman Dell. I guess the signs are saying that the Cherokee would have a special like dignitary. It's a woman who would decide on give advice about like war and peace and they'd come around and decide the fate of different prisoners and stuff <laughs> and this area was one place that they would meet for rituals. Um, it's also an area where they were building the Blue Ridge Railroad but when the Civil War broke out it got shut down and they tried to complete it afterwards but it just didn't happen so it's I think they said the main work on it was like 0.8 done well, sounds like 80 percent whatever but yep not finished I just love it when the trail gets confusing and they stop blazing at that moment. Like the trail, it, it like split and both directions lead to a creek. Both of them are deep. I guess I'm gonna guess those markings on the tree mean to cross here. Both of them look like they have trails on both sides and neither of them are blazed suddenly. So I'm gonna guess this is it. I'm trying to go around. Um, the trail guide doesn't really show which one to cross either. So I'm gonna try this one. Okay, it wasn't the actual creek crossing, but it led right to the actual one. I was wondering about this one. It really just kind of dropped off here. And on this side, there's a blaze. But from that side of the creek, you cannot see the blaze. And it looked like they roped it off. I'm wondering if maybe there used to be a bridge or something and it broke. But, oh well. All right, I'm back at War Woman Dell. It is another day. Oh my goodness. The last time I was here, it was after 11 o'clock at night. It was dark out. Mostly dark out. But it was thunderstorming. So it'd be all dark, and then suddenly I can see everything, and then suddenly I can't see anything. And then suddenly I can see everything, and then suddenly I can't see anything. It's pouring rain. I did take refuge for a few seconds in the bathroom to go to the bathroom, but. Hopefully, it'll be better weather today. I'm starting to think that these are the blazes for this section of the trail. <laughs> it was just a plain yellow blaze, but now with a boundary of wildlife management area. Well, looks like the trail is about ready for a trim in this section. I'm starting to think that every road crossing has a boulder engraved the Bartram Trail on it. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. I'm 
War, Mo War Woman Dell 15 miles. War Woman Dell 14 miles. <laughs> Who knows how long it is. I just walked from there. Made it to Rabin. Rabin. No. It's going to be my turnaround spot for the day. Let's see, Hale Ridge Road. <laughs> You can tell that definitely several people have stealthed around the spot. There's quite a few spots. Woo, I made it to the top of Rabin Ball. This is the second highest peak in Georgia and my first real peak on the Barton Trail. So super excited to get here. There are a ton of ladybugs all over this wooden platform. It's pretty cool. Beautiful view. Georgia's off that way. North Carolina's that way. Once again, it's taken me longer than planned to get here, so I was hoping to make it to the North Carolina border today. I'm not going to. <laughs> Only a few miles short, but low on time, and I'm just going to make this my turnaround point. So, back to the car. <laughs> So I've only gone like a mile back down Robin Bald and I was running down the hill. It was nice and easy, having fun, um, trying to save time. And then I got to this really rocky patch right here. I was like, I shouldn't run this. So I'm gonna slow down and walk. And as soon as I tried to slow down and walk, my foot got caught and I went flying and fell. That's exactly what I was trying to prevent. <laughs> but I shredded. So now I'm talking to you, keep myself calm, because my body immediately wanted to have like an anxiety attack, like, you're hurt! I'm like, no, stay calm, you'll be fine. Toe is sore, thumb is sore. A little sore on my sides. Pretty sure nothing's broken, nothing's bleeding. More like stub my toe. <laughs> okay, calm down, I think I can keep going. So I knew that something was irritating my back and like I kept trying to mess with my backpack, take it off, because I know in the past I've had like ridiculous moments where it's like, man, my pack just keeps bugging me and then I took my pack off and it was a stick, but I haven't had any sticks and like messing with my backpack, my pants, my underwear, my wrap, you know, my uh, fanny pack, like I can't figure out what is irritating my back. I think it's the backpack. I think it's just getting old. But like I had adjusted things and then it was feeling fine. And then after a while it started really bugging me again. And like I had paused at one point and touched my back. I was like, oh, it's raw. It feels raw. So um, it's like, let me just get to the next water source. I'll rinse it off, covered in Luco tape, keep going. I'm almost back, but. So I washed it off, took a picture of it. And I don't know, I can't tell if, like it, if it really is just rubbed raw and it looks like that, or if it, it almost looks more like an allergic reaction. I don't know, so I'm trying to take everything off of it. I've got my backpack and my fanny pack on the front now. I don't think I'm gonna like this. We'll see how long it lasts, but hey. Should only have like a couple miles or so to go. So, almost back to my car. 